Hey guys, this is AJ with Ted's Aquamarine. Today, we're checking out the 2016 Bayliner VR5. So stay tuned and let's take a look at it. We got boats, boats, we got boats that for Ted's Aquamarine. We got big ones and tall ones and itty bitty small ones that for Ted's Aquamarine. And there's a big selection and the price is right. Oh man, these boats are out of sight. Get the boat you want when you see what you like at Ted's Aquamarine. Alright guys, the Bayliner VR5 is a new model for the 2016 year from Bayliner. Uh, it's a 20 foot 4 inch boat uh, and also supports an 8 foot wide beam. Uh, one thing great about this boat is it, it, it follows the beam all the way to the front of the boat which creates a ton of room uh, up in the front, front area for, for passengers. Now also back here um, you can see that we have the uh, sea deck teak floor mat uh, which is a really great flooring. Uh, it's, it's not very slippery, it's kind of sponge like uh, so you're not going to slip and fall. I uh, also have a ski hook here, uh, which is great. You can pull uh, tuber skiers from here. Or we even have the extreme tower on this boat right now, uh, and you can pull from up there as well. Alrighty, and as you can see here, uh, there's a very large sun pad in the back, so anybody can lay out. Uh, very comfortable. Uh, also, too, it has a second key feature that uh, makes this sun pad even more unique. This right here opens up. Put that little kickstand there. And now it's a re it's a chase lounge, uh, which is very comfortable. Also, too, this pad flips over, and you either have the option of a have the option of a walk over here, or you can open this up so your guests can walk right through here. Now, also here, we have a cooler that can be used as wet or dry storage. Uh, so that's a bonus feature. The VR5 offers a very spacious interior. Um, a lot of useful compartments here. Underneath the main bench here, you have a wet, dry storage area. It can also be used as a cooler here. And then right here, you gotta kinda pull this seat out. And here we have the Mercruiser 4.3 multi-injected, multi-port injected engine. Uh, so this engine is putting out 220 horsepower. Uh, top speed testing is around 50 miles an hour. Uh, so plenty fast enough to be on the water. So plenty of room for storage. Uh, a lot of area to work on the boat. Uh, if you do your own maintenance, it's very easy to access. Um, on this side, you have storage plus also uh, where this is where your battery goes. This. Uh, we also have storage underneath this seat as well. One other great feature about the VR5 is that it has a self bailing hull. So what that means is that if water gets inside of the boat, it has an exit point here and an exit hole over here. Uh, so if you get on a lot of water, if there's just a lot of water on the boat, uh, it will self-drain itself out. Um, another key feature is for cleanup, uh, whenever you get the, the bucket of soap in here and you're scrubbing away, you can just hose off all the water, the whole interior, and it's going to run outside the boat and you don't have to worry about anything. So that's one big bonus feature. As we look here, uh, the co-captain seat is a pretty unique seat as it's a three position seat. So what that means is whenever you have it in the normal position, Co-captain is facing forward. Uh, if you lift up, set it back one notch. Now it's a rear-facing seat. So if you have a skier or a tuber, um, that person can turn around, have a nice comfortable spot to keep an eye on them. Uh, you can also hold it all the way down, uh, which makes this a complete L-shaped backing. Uh, like I said, lots of room in here, plenty of room uh, to relax. Uh, it's a very comfortable and, and big interior. All right, and as you can see here on the console, uh, we have a very nice steering wheel uh, with the tilt mechanism built in. Um, all of your gauge cluster, Jensen AM FM radio with inputs. Um, right here on either side, you have a 12 volt outlet uh, to charge your phone, or you have an auxiliary input so you can play music uh, through your phone uh, into the radio. Um, you know, very, very simple and easy console. 
Uh, the driver's seat is adjustable so it moves forward and backwards and it's bolster style. So some people like to get up and you know ride high where others like to sit down in here. But that's what that's for. Very nice feature. And if we move to the front here, another thing I want to mention before we move to the front of the boat, uh, this is the Extreme Tower from Bayliner. Uh, it has the integrated top. Um, one thing nice about this is that when you have towing or if you have uh, bridge restrictions on a lake or anything like that, this tower is collapsible. Uh, there's two uh, screws right here, uh, hinges, that you pull, undo these, uh, and it will fold down nice and neat. So, uh, great looking tower, very durable, um, you know, and easy to use. And as we move forward here to the bow, uh, we have a nice walkthrough windshield. Uh, we did put the side wings on here. Uh, so very nice windshield with the black trim and as you move forward too, you have a very large uh, kind of cabinet storage area that you can put life jackets, uh, coolers, anything extra you can put it in here. Very large space. And as you move up to the front, you'll notice that Bayliner's 8 foot beam pretty much extends all the way to the front almost, leaving this a, a huge area. It makes it very comfortable for your passengers. Where other, other open bows or bow riders will have a dramatic, dramatic curve to the front, uh, really limits the space there. With, with this VR5, you have plenty of room to relax, to move your feet around, and for two people, maybe even three people to be up here uh, to relax and have fun. We did put the bow filler cushion in here. Uh, it's very easily removable. So you just take it out like so, move this piece, Move this out, put that in storage. Now you have some nice leg room uh, if someone's wanting to sit rather than lay down. But this is the 2016 Bayliner VR5. Um, you can see it here at Ted's Aquamarine in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, we'd like to thank you for tuning in and keep checking back with us. Have a good day. Bye.